The movie is based on a true story The opening scene begins with our main character Alvaro sitting with his ex-girlfriend Ona on a beach Anna on a beach It appears that he loves her a lot and regrets their past misunderstandings When Ona inquires about why he brought her here He begins to describe the fatal incident he experienced in this exact location The scene then cuts to a flashback where Alvaro and several of his friends arrive at a secluded island, they surf the entire day and have the time of their live turns out Alvaro and his best friend Neo are professional surfers, and they regularly go on such outings at night, they set up camp near the beach and have a grand party Neo then gathers his close friends near a bonfire and reveals something important he says that he is moving to Canada very soon because he now has a special person in his life. And it's not a moose she has recently become pregnant so he plans to settle down with her upon hearing this all of Nilo's friends are happy for him except for Alvar he is clearly upset but doesn't say anything for the moment as the conversation wears on Alvaro notices his ex-girlfriend Ona dancing with another man it is revealed that the two recently broke up because of his infidelity and lies he is still head over heels for her but Ona has already moved on Alvaro then approaches the guy and picks a fight with him what's up bro you want to go but before things can escalate the others quickly intervene and separate them in the Next scene Neo takes Alvaro to a quiet place to talk privately, he knows that his friend is upset about something, and he wants to know why Alvaro then brings up the promise they had made when they were teenagers they had vowed to travel the world and surf together, but now Nilo is breaking that promise and leaving for good Nilo apologizes for the sudden decision. And shares that he loves his girlfriend a lot since he is about to be a father he wants to be there for her hearing this Alvaro finally understands him and wishes him a bright future he also gives him two plane tickets to Indonesia so that he can enjoy his honeymoon, there it is revealed that Alvaro had bought the tickets for them to surf there, but now that Nilo is leaving he doesn't want to go any more early the next morning Alvaro drives off to the other side of the island, he is having a bad headache due to last night's drinking session, but he shrugs it off and proceeds to do what he loves the most surfing along the Way he gets multiple messages from his co-workers, Neo, as well as his family members his sister points out that today is her birthday and advises him to make the occasional call home because his mother often misses him, however Alvaro does not respond to any of the messages or calls he then abandons his vehicle and starts walking towards the beach with his surfboard and backpack. Alvaro is listening to some music on his airpods so he doesn't realize that the sand beneath him is slippery, why does? He need his ears for slippery, the land is also very steep, which makes the walk difficult unfortunately Alvaro slips at the wrong moment causing him to slowly slide down the cliff, he manages to hold on at one point, but it is impossible to climb back up due to the sand at that moment he gets a call in his phone, and as he tries to reach for it in his backpack. He loses his grip and slides further down Alvaro soon reaches the cliff's edge and now he is holding on for dear life when he looks down he sees the gigantic waves and the sharp rocks, this terrifies him because if he falls, he is not going to make it Alvaro desperately holds on with all his strength hoping that someone will come to his rescue, but when no one shows up for a few minutes, it finally dawns on him that he is all alone here Alvaro then looks down and observes the sea waves striking the rocks, this gives him a risky but brilliant idea he counts the duration at which the waves strike the rocks and learns that it is 8 seconds. Fortunately 8 is exactly as high as Alvaro can count then he prays to God and takes a daring leap at exactly 8 seconds Alvaro lands in the water, but one of his legs hits a rock and his right hand is badly injured he somehow manages to swim to one of the rocks and feels relieved thinking that he is still alive, but as he tries to move forward his fractured leg suddenly snaps this causes him to fall and hit a rock knocking him unconscious. When Alvaro comes to his senses he discovers that he has injured his head and stomach, there is also a deep cut on his waist desperate he pulls out his phone to call for help, but it has been damaged by water, as if a surfer wouldn't have a waterproof phone, he then screams for assistance, but there is no one around to hear him when all of his attempts fail, he decides to check on his wounds, he wraps his shirt around his arm to stop the bleeding, and then tries to move his legs. Alvaro is happy that they are still functioning, but he can't move due to his 
injured arm and leg tired and dizzy, he then falls asleep on the rock, when he wakes up he is devastated to learn that help has still not arrived, so he decides to take matters into his own hands, he observes the place carefully, and decides to swim to the other seashore the only problem is that Alvaro can only use one each of his hands and legs still he pulls on his backpack and takes a leap into the water after paddling for. A while he feels a sharp pain in his stomach caused by muscle spasms and internal bleeding he tries to bear the pain, but it does not go away by this point he has drunk so much sea water that he has started feeling weak when he can't think of any solutions he gives up on his life and begins to drown in this state of, of helplessness Alvaro's life flashes right in front of his eyes. He recalls the time spent with his ex-girlfriend and how happy they were then, this surprisingly ignites his will to live so he swims back up again booed by his boner in the present Ona is in tears after hearing all of this, she forgives him for everything he has done in the past, but says that she cannot be with him anymore, she tells him to start his life from zero as mean and kisses him goodbye before leaving Elvara stands up and attempts to stop her, but it is revealed that it is just his imagination, he also sees himself crawling to the beach, and when he wakes up he is lying on the seashore twenty-four hours half. Past and his condition is getting worse on the beach, we see him lying down with a large SOS message, hoping that someone will notice him he takes out some tin foil from his bag and wraps his wound to prevent infection after a while Alvaro notices a surfboat floating nearby, he realizes that this may be his only chance of getting out of here, because he is an excellent surfer he slowly crawls towards it. But the high tides push him off a rock knocking him out, when Alvaro comes to his senses he finds himself floating in the waves, he is dangerously close to the rocks, and one strike can result in his death since it is impossible to come out by himself Alvaro decides to use his bag as a hook, fortunately the plan works he somehow manages to grab onto a rock and pull himself up from the high tides in the next scene Alvaro notices a helicopter, and this makes him somewhat excited, he uses all of his energy and tries to grab their attention, but to no avail, help me the helicopter can't hear him. Due to the high tides, and it soon vanishes later, while Alvaro is sleeping a cheeky seagull approaches him thinking he's dead, it starts biting his wounds making them even worse Alvaro quickly chases the bird away, and crawls back to the shore, he is extremely thirsty so he starts looking around for water, he obviously doesn't find any, and to make matters worse his hand is poked by a fishing hook. Alvaro doesn't know how to stop the bleeding so he applies some sand to it, after that he urinates on a piece of tin foil to drink it, but fails, because it mostly contains blood, the temperature drops at night, so Alvaro wraps himself in tin foil into fishing net to protect himself from the cold after a while he notices lightning and thunder in the sky, this causes that awful Imagine Dragon song to get stuck in his head, and he wants to end it all, but it also makes him hopeful that he will soon be able to drink some water, however. His bad luck manifests as the rain stops only after a few drops helpless. Alvaro goes back to sleep and prays to God saying I don't want to die the following morning, he is awoken by the sudden ringing on his phone, he looks for it everywhere, but fails to find it when the ringing persists, he realizes that it is buried in the sand so he starts digging and eventually finds his cell phone Alvaro notices that his parents have video called him so he immediately answers it even though it'll kill the battery. He then explains everything that has happened to him in the past 36 hours, but strangely, the parents are unmoved, they keep talking about irrelevant stuff at this moment Alvaro realizes that he is hallucinating due to his extreme thirst, despite this, he speaks to his parents with tears in his eyes, and apologizes for everything he has done in the past Alvaro also expresses his love for them. And his belief that he will never be able to return home later he comes across the same surfboard and crawls towards it, he imagines himself surfing and having fun with his friends like he did before, but in reality, he is still lying down on the beach helpless after some time Alvaro decides to swim back to the ocean and try to save himself one last time, he somehow gets hold of the boat and crawls into the water, but after just a few minutes his energy drains causing him to drown in the middle of the sea this time Alvaro doesn't imagine things more struggle he has accepted his fate, but before he can succumb, due to the lack of oxygen a rescue team notices his 
Surfboard they immediately dive into the water and finally rescue him following this, he has flown to the hospital where his best friend Nilo visits him Alvaro bursts out in tears and lets out everything he had inside him, he expresses his love for his parents something which he has rarely done before he also discusses Ona, who left him because of his arrogant nature Alvaro claims that no one can love him as as much as she does, but he must now let her go even if it is painful he has regrets about everything in his life, but he must persevere and walk through it later Ona also pays him a visit making him very happy in the final scene the real Alvaro is shown standing on a cliff gazing at the vast sea according to reports he was rescued after 48 hours of being stranded in other words he has nothing on James Franco subscribe for more videos like this turn turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out thank you for watching